Mr. Trigg, I'll go back to you from this question. Web form message from Bobby Thomas in Callaway County. Uh, how will you work with the current Trump administration to help Kentucky farm families? Well, if we look at the way farms are currently arranged, I would like to see us diversify farms a little bit more. We need to have additional sources of income. So my goal would be, number one, to use medical marijuana and hemp as a foundation for the, the future farm. And then you use that foundation to diverse out the same way they do in Holland, which is the largest exporter of agricultural products outside the U.S. So they have a small average farm of about 43 acres. So if they can do it, we can do it. So you bring sustainable energy to those same farms. So we would have to work with the federal government, uh, the TVAs of the world, to try to figure out this way we can have small farmers that start to be sustainable. Now, what that would do is, is that would invite young folks, because right now it's hard to convince a young man or a young lady to stay on a farm when the income is, like he said, mm -hmm. under $10,000. You can't make it. And they're sitting there and they're watching TV and they're seeing what the reality of life is and $10,000 would not cut it. Most farms are farmers, like myself. I'm retired, but they have two jobs. So we got to work with the federal government to say, hey, how do we help farmers? And we're positioned uniquely here in Kentucky. I travel back and forth around the state so a lot during this campaign and prior to it. We have the infrastructure to do great things. We're on the center of I-75, I-65, corridors north and south. We have 64, 69, or 64 and 66 going across the southern side, uh, east and west. We have the Ohio River on the top side. So we can work with the federal government and become, we're the center of the U.S. We should be exporting more. Mm -hmm. And diversified farms would do that. Yeah.